Hi, Chad here with Concrete Floor Supply, here to talk to you about how to apply our epoxy coating system to a floor. Chad here with Concrete Floor Supply, and what we want to talk about in this Whiteboard Wednesday video is applying epoxy, and in this case, we're referring to our epoxy flake system or our epoxy color on color system. Now, each of these systems is a two coat system professional grade uh, coating system for concrete or actually wood too um, but mainly we talk about concrete because that's what most people put it on but uh, this video is an application video to show you how you apply it because most people will say okay now once I get it mixed up what do I do how do I apply it what methodology do I use to apply it to the floor well it's pretty simple and we're going to use a simple solution that that um that we've used for over 10 years to help you with that so let's just pretend this is a garage because that's what a lot of people want to do is coat their garage this is the garage door and these are the steps going into the house um, so what you want to do is set up your mixing station right outside the garage is what we recommend and you're just laying a tarp down and you've got uh, an extension cord here with your drill and then all your products sitting right there. So after you have it mixed, where do you start? You, well, you just don't dump it on the floor and spread it around, right? So what you want to do, most people mix up gallon and a half to three gallons at a time. And you start in the dead center and you pour a ribbon around and down, around and down, and probably about six inches out from the wall. Um, your next step, and you're in your spike shoes at this point, is to, and if you have two people, this actually works best. So you have a person here and a person here, and you send, you start in the middle, and you work out. And what these folks are doing initially is taking a chip brush, or just a, a cheap little paint brush, and going along the edge and cutting it in real quick. Going along, cutting it in. So the next step is, this guy usually, he'll stop at the thing, and then he'll go down and mix up another batch. And this individual is going back and forth on the floor with our notched squeegee. And a notched squeegee has a serrated um, edge to it, so it, 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 you put your epoxy down at, at a particular mill thickness. But anyway, walking along in spike shoes, spreading out the epoxy throughout the entire floor, grabbing this on the edges, going back and forth and spreading it. This is already cut in. And then this individual is mixing while that person's spreading. Well, what happens is this person will be done mixing and this person will end up right about there. So you pour more epoxy out and do the same thing over and over again. Pour it out, cut it in. And then once you've got your floor laid out, it's very simple. You're taking typically an 18 inch 3 8 snap roller. Um, and this is with our product too. I mean, it's um, different than uh, do-it-yourself type products. Actually, really easy to apply, but you get a professional grade result, and that's what most people are looking for. So then after that's done, and the, and the epoxy spread throughout the entire floor, you'll find that it just levels out on the floor. But you'll want to go back through and walk through it with your spiked shoes, and do some up and backs with a roller, and lay it out. So that's how you apply epoxy. Um, after this, you can choose to just leave it and then put on another coat of gray, tan, or whatever, or you can broadcast flake into it. Um, that's a, a, a different video and a different instruction, but that's how you um, install our epoxy.